people are getting so much wrong <laughs> about the GLP-1s. We use GLP-1s for diabetes treatment. And then, oh, by the way, you can lose some weight when you take it. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa Young. I'm an endocrinologist and I'm TikTok creator Med Endo. First of all, a lot of people think that these are new. They're not new meds. Bayedo was the first one commercially available in the United States and that's almost 20 years old now. People only think it's new now because of all the social media hype. But we have been using the GLP-1 receptor agonist for nearly two decades. There are also some people who feel that using a GLP-1 is only for weight loss now. And again, that's misinformation because of all the hype. We use GLP-1s for diabetes treatment. One of the kind of fringe benefits of using the GLP-1 receptor agonist is that people are less hungry and they are fuller longer when they do eat. So one of the kind of positive side effects that they found when they were treating people with diabetes is that they lose weight, which is why some of them have been rebranded and remarketed as anti-obesity agents. Obesity is a chronic disease. And up until recently, we did not have decent treatments for it. The GLP-1 receptor agonists have been wonderful for a lot of patients. I think they've been somewhat abused by certain people. They are not meant for vanity weight loss. But for people who have the disease of obesity, this can be life-changing. Ozempic and Monjaro are two very similar drugs. Ozempic is a GLP-1 receptor agonist. So GLP-1 is a hormone that's made by your intestines and Ozempic mimics that. Monjaro mimics both GLP-1 and another hormone that's made by the intestines called GIP. Both of them do similar things. They both increase insulin production and they both slow down how quickly food moves from your stomach to your intestines and they both have an impact on the hunger parts of the brain. GLP-1 receptor agonists such as Ozempic and Trulicity and Bidurian are medications that work similar to GLP-1. So they also help your body to make more insulin when your blood sugars are high. But because the levels that your body achieves with these medications is higher than what you could make on your own, they also work by slowing down how quickly food moves from your stomach to your intestines so you're fuller longer and your blood sugars don't spike after you eat because you absorb the carbohydrates more slowly. They also work on the satiety part of the brain, that fullness part of your brain, so that you're, you don't think of food as much, you're not hungry as much. If you want more information about diabetes, we have a lot of videos right here, and you can also visit our website. We even have a newsletter about diabetes. Check out the links in the description below. There are hundreds of articles on Healthline.